The star named Sirius is the brightest star with bluish appearance, which we observe in the night sky. But Betelgeuse is the closest red supergiant star to Earth which is also very bright, although it is too far away compared to Sirius star. Distance estimates vary, but it's probably around 1000 light years. It is expected that Betelgeuse is going to explode as a supernova. But there has been always been a difference of opinion about the timing of this event. Then it might be as bright as the full moon seen in broad daylight. But when will Betelgeuse explode? The answer is, maybe today. Maybe a thousand years from now. However, since 2019, Betelgeuse has seen a noticeable increase in brightness and dimming. A recently published new paper suggests that the timescale of the Betelgeuse supernova explosion is decades, not thousands of years. This documentary focuses on the concept of stellar nucleosynthesis, that is, the process of stellar nucleosynthesis. In stars, simple atoms combine to form more complex atoms and energy is produced as a byproduct. A supernova occurs when a star runs out of nuclear fuel. The new research was published at archive.org. It's called, Extracting the Evolutionary Stages of Betelgeuse from its Pulse Cycles. Scientists conclude that Betelgeuse is a good candidate for the next galactic supernova. Observing the history of supernovae in our galaxy is sketchy. But we should be lucky enough to see any galactic supernova in our lifetime, especially one as close as Betelgeuse. Will Betelgeuse explode in a few decades? This is a great idea and people are excited about it. But is this true? This curiosity sparked a new conversation on social media as well. The star is shining more brightly now. Recently its brightness has increased by almost 50%. Note that Betelgeuse is behind the sun in summer. So we had no idea what it was doing until it showed up before dawn in late summer. Stars emit light due to thermonuclear fusion occurring inside them. Simply put, they convert simple elements like hydrogen into elements, like helium and produce energy as a byproduct. When massive stars with eight or more solar masses run out of their most basic fuel, they gradually begin to burn more fuel, until their cores are filled with iron atoms. By then the temperature inside the star is dropped because fusion stops taking place. This means that the pressure in the star also drops. The star begins to fall in on itself. And then it reappears with a terrifying explosion, creating a supernova and probably a black hole follows this process. So. After a massive star like Betelgeuse has exhausted its fuel, it explodes as a type 2 supernova very fast and very explosive. So the explosion of a star depends on what's going on inside the star, how much fuel is left. We can conclude that Betelgeuse is in the advanced stage of a carbon burning core. If we are, nearing the end, of that time, Betelgeuse may be at end of its life cycle and may explode any time probably within a few years. But considering the distance of the star from our solar system, it cannot be ruled out that it may have already become a supernova and as the light emitted by the supernova reaches us, we will be observing the supernova from the Earth. But is there another way? Of course there is. Universe Today published a great story about Betelgeuse in June 2023, explaining some of the science involved in determining whether Betelgeuse will explode soon or not. The researchers said, Actually, the true evolutionary stage cannot be determined because the surface changed very little in the period near and after carbon depletion. Astronomers only see the surface, but what's happening deep inside the stars tells the story. The authors of this article actually say that Betelgeuse may have exploded earlier than expected, based on observations and data. But they do not know at what stage the temperature of the star's carbon core is. According to some models that fit the data, carbon burning can continue for a long time. So, we might assume, Betelgeuse may explode tomorrow or it could break, within a few years. Otherwise it might explode after a thousand years. Actually on the cosmic scale a period of thousand years is very small. Betelgeuse's decline at the end of 2019 caused excitement around the world. Astronomers now call this phenomenon the, Betelgeuse dimming. When this happens, many people believe and hope that a major event of an explosion of a nearby star is about to happen. Scientists analyzing data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and some other observatories discovered that in 2019 Betelgeuse lost most of its visible surface and produced a very large ejection mass. This is something never seen before in the behavior of ordinary stars. Stars usually explode with their fragile core, the corona, 
in an event called a coronal mass ejection. But the Betelgeuse CME is way bigger the size of a normal CME. So Betelgeuse's big dimming in 2019 was probably caused by hot clouds from the star that temporarily blocked its light. But luckily, we are at a safe distance from the star. Whenever Betelgeuse explodes, our planet is too far away for the explosion and there does not seem any threat to the life on Earth. Science shows that for a supernova to harm any solar system, it should happen around 160 light years away. Betelgeuse is four times farther away. But what we may observe from Earth will be the brightest object in the sky after Sun after it becomes a supernova. In early March, the star appears in the south in the evening hours. In mid-May, it can be seen briefly in the west after sunset. Betelgeuse orbits behind the sun in early summer, but turns east before dawn in mid-July. Yes, in early August you can see Betelgeuse in Orion in the east before sunrise. The star is known as the Beast of the Summer Dawn. Although currently Betelgeuse is the 10th brightest star in the sky, but it will be very interesting to see how it will look like when it will be seen as a supernova form the Earth.